Hi everybody, this is Live DD. Welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna do a Bob Ross painting uh, tutorial live following uh, the master Bob Ross. And the painting we're gonna do is called the Sunset Aglo. Sunset Aglo. So yeah, we're gonna uh, do it together. But we're using watercolor, so. Let me just clip uh, you on my uh, cell phone. Like this. Um, so we're gonna we'll follow the step of uh, the master. Watercolor brushes here, uh, watercolor brushes here, uh, and I'm gonna pour some water in the cups, and then uh, there's also watercolors. Doing this life is a little bit stressful. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so let me just pour some water in the cups when I wash my brushes. Okay, one cup. Yeah, so let's get started. I feel much free now since no one's watching right now. Let's start with, I'll start with this brush. Oh, I need some color first. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm all over the place right now. Sorry, I'm fixing my lights and stuff. Okay. Let me just check. Okay, no big deal. Here, I'd like to wish you a happy paint. Uh, hey, so we started. Back. Certainly glad you could join us today. I thought today we'd do a painting that just has a lot of color in it, one that'll make you feel good inside. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I've got done up here. I have my standard old 18 by 24 inch double prime pre-stretched canvas, but you use any size that you want. And I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin, even coat of liquid white. So the canvas is all wet and, and we can literally blend color up there. So let's do it. Let's start with our little tiny two inch. I need to color this. I need to pause, otherwise it's way too fast, I think. Okay. 
So remember, I'm using watercolor. I don't know if I should do this or not. But I just follow a step, although they're using oil paint. I need a bigger brush. Seriously. today. <laughs> I put right into a small amount of the Indian yellow, just a very small amount. We'll go right up here in the sky and just <laughs> just do something like that. It's all there is to it. Just just make little little crisscross strokes, something like that. I'll go right into a little bit of yellow ochre. Just right into it. I don't even have to clean the brush. Little yellow ochre. It's sort of a golden color. There. Once again, without cleaning the brush, a little touch of the bright red. Be careful with the bright red. Like this. It looks like a brownish color. This is. Gorgeous, gorgeous color, but it is so strong. Too, but turn the whole Atlantic Ocean red. There's a little bit blue tone, so I added some blue color. Sorry, I dropped some. Very careful with it. Don't need much. There we go. We'll just sort of blend that around like that. There. That's pretty all 
already. Should have gone like that. Now then, for the rest of the sky, tell you what, let's let's do the rest of the sky in, let's, let's use a lavender color. We'll just brush mix it here. I'll use a little phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, proportionately, much more crimson than blue, because it's, crimson's a weak color compared to the, to the blue. All right, let's go up in here. Now then, I just want to sort of dance this around a little bit. Just let it play and bounce. Okay, here and there and there and here. There. Just wherever. Wherever. Sometimes it goes to the red side, sometimes to the blue. It doesn't matter. There we are. Gorgeous colors. Now then. Maybe I'll touch a little phthalo blue and just hit it here and there up toward the top. Don't want that blue against the green or the yellow here or we'll get green. And we'll wash the brush. That's the most fun part of this whole procedure. Shake it off. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. Now then, clean, dry brush. Let's begin blending these colors together. Just blend them together. There. Because the liquid white's under there, you can literally move and blend color. And that's exactly what we're doing. I'm just beating the brush to, to remove any paint that I've picked up without going through the whole cleaning procedure. In, in layman terms, that's called laziness. <laughs> there. Just didn't want to bother cleaning the whole brush. Maybe something about like that. Now then, today, let's put some clouds up here in the sky. We're going to have a sky that's just, just gorgeous, shiny, bright. A lot of color in it. There we go. I usually wipe the old brush against a, a paper towel to be sure I've got all the excess paint removed off of it. Let's have a big cloud. For that, I'm going to go into the titanium white. I'll be right back. Don't go away. There. Put a little bright red with it. Shoot, let's make a firecracker. Sparkler. Go up in here. Maybe in our world there lives a big old cloud right up in here. It just sort of floats around, has a good time all day. You know, clouds are one of the freest things in nature, I believe. So just let them go. Shoot, let them have fun. Let them have fun wherever you want them. Let them go. There. Maybe, I don't know. Just, just decide where these clouds live in your world and put them in. Put them in. And don't just... Don't just try to copy what we're doing here. Shoot. This is a very free style of painting. We don't use any patterns. We don't trace anything. We just let it happen. And that really is the beauty of all this. We'll just pull a little bit down in here. But notice I'm not covering up all this nice yellow color. I want some of it to show through the cloud. There. Maybe over in here there's some more. Whatever. Whatever. Now today, I'm gonna get our little our little soft blender brush, very gentle, soft little brush, and just blend the base of that out a little bit, gentle, 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 barely touching, just caress the canvas a little. There we go. Something about like that, and you can fluff it a little bit, blend it. There, a little old cloud or. Shoot, there's a big old cloud. It's just sitting right up there in the sky. Now then, we can take, I'll just use the blender because this blender is sort of unique. You can paint with it. I'm going to put a least little touch of, the, of that bright red on there. A little bit of white with it and just begin putting in all kinds of gorgeous little things that just float around. There they go. There they go. Reach over here and get a touch of that lavender color we were using. Just a least little touch. There. See, this blender is so soft, you can just get in here and work all this color without it all blending together. Of course, if you blend it long enough, it will just blend together. But you can put all these things in there just by doing that. Maybe there's one. Go back to my pinks every once in a while. It's up to you. Up to you. Wherever, wherever you think it should be. There we go. See, all kinds of little things. 
least, least little touch of the thalo blue, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Be careful that you don't hit that yellow, though, or we'll have a brilliant green sky, and we're not looking for that. Not in this particular painting. Maybe sometimes, but not now. Not now. There's a nice little cloud floating right there. All right. A little bit of bright red and white again. And maybe up here in our sky, let's just put, while we have this old brush working so well, let's just put the indication of some little floaters around in here. Just enough to break it up. See? Just just little floaters there. Something like that. Wherever, wherever you make the decision. But isn't that brush fantastic for doing things like that? Yeah. Or you can paint right over that firm paint that we already have up there. Maybe over in here we got a little more. Very soft, gentle, quiet. There. All right. I get carried away sometime. Okay. Now maybe, I tell you what, maybe in our world, maybe, 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 let me grab a fan brush. There's one. Let's take a little bit of that lavender color that was just thalo blue, lizard crimson, right on the fan brush here. And maybe, let's go up in here. All right, let's do this. Let's put a nice dark cloud in here. That contrast will, it'll sparkle. It'll absolutely sparkle. There. Maybe we'll put a wild shape on this one. There we go. Got a little bump lives right there. When I was a kid, I used to sit around and it was my brother and I, we'd look at clouds and we'd pick out all kinds of shapes. We'd see the mean old witch or the or the candy man or whatever. And they all lived in the clouds. You can see all kinds of shapes in there if you just spend a little time and study it and you got a good imagination. All kinds of things. Back to my little blender. Now then, just softly, softly blend this a little. Don't have to do it much. And you can just bring it all together. Looks like that old cloud just sort of floats right around the corner there. Just like that. There we go. All right. Come right on out like that. Shoot, maybe there's some nice things happening down here. Just take that color that you picked up and use it. Let these things happen. Let them happen. And very lightly. That's where the blender brush really works well. And sometimes you can take, you take a little bit bright red and white. And you can put a few little highlights up here just to dull everything down so it's not quite as distinct. A few little areas right along in here somewhere. So you can make out a little detail in this cloud. We don't want much, though. We don't want to lose that gorgeous darkness. It really, it really works in this painting. I like that darkness. There. Something about my cat. Now, sometimes, let's take some pure titanium white. Maybe, in our world, maybe the sun lives right behind that big cloud there. So we can just take pure titanium white. And I'm just going to use the knife. You can take your finger or you can take a brush, but I'm going to push forcibly some white paint right into there. I want this to be very bright. I'm just going to go right over that and I'll put it back in if I decide I want it. Because we don't make mistakes. There. Now, we can take our blender brush and very gently just blend that right in there and that'll end up being a nice gorgeous bright spot in our painting when it's done see there just blend it all together look at that see that contrast it just jumps right out at you and that's what we're looking for there Shoot. tell you what while we got the old blender brush going watch here watch here watch here let's take a little bit of that nice lavender color and let's paint in a, maybe an indication of just a a happy cloud that lives right here. Very soft. Very soft. Very, very soft. See, we're just working in layers. I want this cloud to look like it's in front of that. So, put the other thing in. 
thing is farthest away in first, and then begin working forward, forward, forward. That's all you have to do. There it is. There it is. We just let it work right on the ground. See there? Mm. I get excited when I see these. They turn me on. There. I like to play with color. A little bit of the bright red and white. Just vary these colors. Just vary them back and forth and around and around and around. Something like that. I'm going to put in several little clouds here. You know, one of the earlier shows, I showed the biggest squirrel that I had ever seen. I'm going to put him up and let you see him again while I'm just, I'm just going to be dropping in some of these little things. I won't, I won't do anything you don't see. But this rascal is something else. I have never seen a squirrel this big. This is called a Sherman fox squirrel. And he's as big, well, he's as big as a small kitty cat. And very docile, very quiet little squirrel. He's up there we go. But I'm skipping the squirrel. I like these animals. I really like to play with them. I'm just coming right along here and putting in all kind of little things. Then we can just sort of blend this entire thing. All right. But isn't that a dynamite sky? Now, I tell you what, if you take, if you have a room in your home that's sort of dull and blasé, you do a painting like this and hang it, and when you walk in the room, the color will jump on you. <laughs> Makes you feel good. Mm. I get carried away. I'm sorry. Let's have a little something down here on the bottom. Shoot, we've we've wasted all of our time up here in the sky. Let's let's put a little something. I'll just take a little of that lavender since it's going so nice. And let's go down here. And let's just put some of that nice lavender color down here. About like that. A little more of that lavender color. There. We're going to just put that right down in here. There we are. So we just go all the way across with it. Shoot. Doesn't matter. There. Maybe. Maybe we'll have a little mountain that lives way, way back in the distance here. Let's do that. Let me find my knife. Just take that same lavender color, put it out here, put some white with it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Something I like it. There. I like it. You just sort of adjust the color until it's what you want. Cut off a little roll of paint. And let's have a little mountain first. Maybe we'll do a couple mountains. We'll have one that lives far away. This little mountain, he lives away. Hold on. He's going way too fast. So I have to pause it. Catching up, catching up. back here almost almost to the edge of nowhere there we just drop him on drop him on let's grab a, a two inch brush and we'll grab that and firmly pull it just pull it and then just blend the base of it out so all you see is a nice silhouette sitting there because this one's far away quiet little mountain quiet little dude he lives way out there now, let's take some Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, much more crimson than blue. Put a little black in there. Maybe even a little Van Dyke brown. I like it too. Cut off our little roll of paint. It should live right on the edge of your knife. Then we go up here, and here's a mountain. I don't want it to get too big. I like to paint big mountains, and I sort of have to physically restrain myself sometimes. Because I'll just let a mountain get right out of right out of the painting. It just keeps on going. There. I do like to paint mountains on. But 
I've got one young fella that outpaints me when it comes to mountains. That's my son, Steve. You might have saw him in some of the other shows. He's just one of the most dynamite mountain painters I've ever seen. There we go. Pull that. And he was out teaching. We didn't get him on this series. Maybe, maybe next series I'll get him back in here. We rent Steve out. He travels all over the country and teaches classes to literally hundreds and hundreds of people. So he's tied up right now. There we go. Just blending that out. Tell you what, let's put a little bit of highlight. I use a little bit of that bright red, a little white. I don't want much highlight, just enough. So we see a little sun zinging right across there. Tiny little amount. There it goes. Zoom. There it goes. A little bit more. Zoom right there. And I'm just going to blend it down. By down, I mean just work it in so it's not so distinct. I want it to be very quiet. Don't want much. That's really, really about all we're going to do. Just enough to give the indication of a little highlight here and there. Maybe there's another little peninsula right there. I don't know. Wherever you want it. Grab it and go down, and that's good enough. Let's see. I don't, I don't want much back here, or it'll bring that illusion of distance. Maybe in our world, we have a little. Yep. Just touch, pull down. Maybe there's just a little footy hill that lives back here, right below that mountain. Somewhere like that. Just pull straight down, and right below it, same color. Decide where you want reflections to be. Pull them down, like that. See, and then go gently across, and we have instant reflections. A little white, put a little bright red in it, just a little. Just enough to warm it up. And we'll go right up there, and we'll just put in a happy little water line. Lives right along in there. There. That little bit of pink that you put in that just sort of makes it go with the painting, sort of makes it just stand out. I like that. There we go. All right. Shoot, we're coming right along here. Let's have some fun. You know me. I like trees. Let's make a tree. Clean off a spot to work here. Take some black. Prussian blue, some Van Dyke brown, put some crimson in there, all those good dark rich colors, let me clean the old knife off here, good dark color, should look black on the palette, and I'll we'll take a fan brush today, loaded full of color, a lot of paint, a lot of paint, let's go over here, maybe in our world, choo, 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 there is now, Maybe there's a little tree, happy little tree, and he lives right there. There he comes. This would be very dark, though. With this kind of sky, you'd almost have silhouettes here. Very dark. Very, very dark. And that dark contrast is gorgeous against the sky. There. Maybe. Yeah. Why not? Have another one lives right there. There he is. Why not? sickly. We may have to work on him. By sickly, I mean he, he looked like he had a bad year. Didn't get much water one year or something. Times are rough. There. Shoot, hope we have that color there. Let's take a little of it and just put it down here. I'm going to have some reflections in the water. And you can put them in any old way you want them. Shoot. See there? Just take the brush. Okay, I need to pause this, guys.
go straight down for a cross. Instant reflections. What happened? What happened? And we just use that brush and go ahead and put in a little bit of land for them to sit on. What the heck? There. All some trees on the other side. <laughs> you know me. I like a whole tree here and there. Maybe in our world there's a couple of trees live right there. Now there's three. See, just put in the tops, put in a few little indications. Looks like a whole bunch of trees. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Two. Big one. Gotta have one big tree. There. There we go. Big old tree. Big strong tree. He lives right up here. Looks out over this gorgeous, gorgeous scene. Something like that. Maybe back here we can see the indication of a couple more little trees. They're sort of hid behind. And all we're doing right now is it's just putting on the background color. I'm going to cut along with a few highlights. We'll bring all those together. Okay. Let me see here. There's one. Got too many brushes going today. I'm going to take a two-inch brush, because yeah, that's what was handy. Maybe there's a bush that lives right there, and a lot of nice bushy areas. Really and truly, you can just put anything in here. I just wanted to show you mainly today how to do a fantastic sky. Very easy, very quick. There. we just fill that up with color. There. All right. I'll take a one inch brush. Let's go into, we'll get a little white, a little bit of that same color. There, I'm just looking for a little highlight color, but I want it to be mostly in the lavender hues. There. Oh, that's nice. It's not too bright, but it's just enough, to, just enough to pull it out so it shows a little bit. Maybe that bush lives in the background. That's all we have to do if it does. All right. Let me see. There's one. Looking for a clean brush again. I'm going to take a little sap green, a little yellow, a little yellow ochre. This is cat yellow. Grab the Indian yellow too. Now I want this to get a little black in there too. I want this to be a dark green. Dark green. Dark green. I'm going to come right along in here. Dark green though. Don't make a bright shiny thing this dark. And put the indication here and there and there and here. Some little highlights. Same thing over here. Something like that. See there? All right. A little bit of the liquid white. We'll put in a little indication of some water lying right underneath there. Something like that. Don't need much. Okay, put a little of that green on a fan brush here. And I'm just going to put the indication here and there. Not much. Not much. A little bit of highlight on some of these trees. Just enough so you know there's a little green over here, too. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. <laughs> Just drop it in. There. Darker, darker, darker down here toward the base. All right, maybe. Maybe we'll have a little path right there. Just a little path. All right. Take a little bit of that green color, fill that up, just to finish up the little painting, just to give you an idea. As I say, the big thing in this painting is a gorgeous sky. I hope you try it, because you'll like it. The old clock on the wall tells me it's about time to finish this one and call it a day. I've certainly enjoyed our time together, and I hope you try this one. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you a happy painting, and God bless, my friend. Oh my god, it's like a running a marathon. Um, so here's my painting. Jesus. Oh my god. Move the water over here. So it's my painting over here. Um, yeah, I think uh, like you guys suggested, I should play a uh, slower speed, but I just wanted to challenge myself. Uh, and that's his painting. That's his painting, so you can see that, um, yeah. Oh my God. 
so yeah that's it for today um thank you so much you guys for watching and please give a thumbs up if you like my video and please subscribe i post video every single day thank you so much